Hi guys, uh, on the ground in Hanoi and I want to talk to you about the uh, transponder. Like I, I uh, said yesterday when I showed you some of the clips on my story, uh, the transponder is just a system that communicates with the ground systems so that air traffic control can see where we are on the radar and the aircraft transponder is what communicates with the ground systems to tell air traffic control where the aircraft is. Different data information can be passed from the aircraft in terms of aircraft call sign, uh, even speed, altitude, and air traffic control of the ability to select what data they want coming from the aircraft uh, to be shown on their screens. But that's not what I'm talking about here. The uh, thing is, sometimes in flight or just after takeoff or in the cruise, ATC will come up and say, we're not receiving your information on the uh, transponder. So they might ask you, they might sometimes say score guidance so they can uh, separate you from other aircraft and it might give a, a spike on the screen which will show who it is or it might your particular aircraft will flash on the screen indicating your squawked ident so you've stipulated basically you're saying here i am and that's my code um, but sometimes you hear atc say uh, cathay 2049 uh, can you recycle transponder code 5531 or whatever it is what does recycle mean what do you do in a recycle case let me show you now so i'm in a 747 400 erf this is the transponder fit on the 400 erf it's different to the dash 8 which i'll show you in a minute so as you can see here it's got standby out off out on as in the altitude readout will be off ATC won't pick it up altitude is on TA traffic advisory only for the TCAS and this one is TARA traffic advisory and resolution advisory in other words you get traffic advisory and it will also tell you what to do climb descend maintain vertical speed or whatever transponder left and right there's two of them there's a left one and a right one in general the way we operate is the left pilot flying will have this to the left if the right pilot is flying will have this to the right this ident button is the one i told you about a minute ago that if atc want to make sure that they're actually looking at the actual the real aircraft they're talking to on the screen they might say squawk ident and you push that button and it will give a spike on their screen and they can identify you this is for the tcas above and below so in general for takeoff we leave and climb, we leave it in above, so the TCAS is scanning above your flight path and looking above you as you climb towards other aircraft, and you'll pick up other aircraft descending towards you. Below, we'll then pick up the aircraft that's climbing towards you and any aircraft below you as you descend, or you can leave it normal. What this does above and below just gives you a wider range, up to 7,000 feet, some systems I believe up to 9,000 feet. If I go below, it will scan 9,000 feet below. But generally, 7,000 and 7,000 above. And the normal is 2,000 above and 2,000 below in terms of the TCAS scanning for other aircraft. Anyway, so sometimes if you have a code in there, ATC might say recycle transponder code 5321 or something like that. What the recycle means is set 2,000. 2,000 is the code you put when you shut down the aircraft basically, when you don't have a code assigned to you, you set 2000. That tells the air traffic control that there's an aircraft coming in and it does not have an assigned transponder code. And they'll issue one once you enter the airspace. So sometimes oceanics, we end up with 2000, so an unassigned code. Anyway, so when they come up and say, let's, uh, let's say we had a score code in there of 5321, they say recycle transponder. 5321. What recycle means is leave this in the TARA or TA only position, as the case may be. We generally fly always in TARA, sometimes TA if you've got a malfunction, but generally TARA. Then what it means is go to 2000 by rotating these. You go to 2000 from 53 or whatever code you had. Then go to standby. Then you recycle the code that you had. Put it back in, 5321, and then select TARA again. 
That's what recycle means. Recycle doesn't mean select the other side. Recycle doesn't mean rotate the switch, the, the, the digits, or something like that. Recycle doesn't mean go to standby and back to the TARA. The correct way to do it is really go to 2000, go to standby, put the, TA, uh, the uh, transponder code in again, and then go back to TARA. That's recycle transponder sport code, whatever it is they give to you. So that's what recycle means. Um, I'll show you the fit that's on the uh, Boeing 747-8 because I was in the simulator the other day and spoke about the same thing. So this is the uh, transponder on the Boeing 747-8. Every aircraft is assigned a code which we put in there by rotating these things here, like that, and set the code that they give you. The 2000 code is when you haven't been assigned any transponder code for your flight. So every aircraft gets a transponder code that's assigned to it before departure as part of the uh, departure clearance. And then after, before you depart, you select it and put it on there. So let's say it's three, three, five, one, something like that. And then on here, it's on standby. I can put it to TARA, which means traffic advisory, resolution advisory, or TA only means traffic, traffic advisory only. This is transponder is on. Altitude reporting off. We never use any of those, but standby, it's obviously the one you finish. At the end of the flight, the transponder code that you're given is recycled. So that's why I've been telling you about recycling. So it's recycled. So just before we shut down and select standby, we select, once we park, we select 2000, which means we go to the code that indicates we don't have an assigned code because the next flight, they'll have to get a new code from ATC. There, and then, once you've set 2000, you go to standby. Now, if ATC come up sometimes and you have a code already set after takeoff, let's say you have a code like that, Okay, three, two, three, one. After takeoff, you've got it set and you've got TARA set as well. And then you report and check into ATC Cafe 236, passing 800 feet for 5,000 feet. ATC comes up and say, Cafe so and so, are you squawking 3231? You say, A firm, squawking 3231. The PM looks here. Pilot flying is obviously flying, so he's not looking down. Um, ATC say, oh, well, I'm not receiving your transponder. Recycle squawk code 3231. Recycle means select 2000, which is the unassigned one, and go 2000 and then go back to standby on there. Reselect 3321, the code you are given. And then go back to TARA and see if that gives them a reading on their radar screens. That is recycling a transponder. It is not selecting the other side and going to the right. It is not just cycling the switch like that and doing that as some people do, like that. Recycle means completely send the transponder code back into the system by selecting 2000 first and then back to standby set the transponder code again and go TARA again. Only then, if they're still not receiving it, would you then select 2000, go to the left-hand side, put the transponder code, and try the other side, rather. That's how we do it. So, recycle transponder code, so-and-so, 2000 first. Select standby. Reinsert the transponder you were given by ATC. Select TARA. That is recycling. So I came to show you that and that's what I'm talking about when I talk about recycle later. Now you know.